Oh, you want to use both mics? Okay. This one will be yours. Okay. And this one will be mine. How's that? Are we good? Ooh. <laughs> I'm used to sitting there, you see. Uh, <laughs> the only certain people I would ever give that chair up for. Well, this I is feel wonderful. honored. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're on. Hello, Teresa. Hello. Welcome to Montreal. Thank you so much. Being from Nebraska, I suppose the weather isn't really bothering you. No, it's not too bad. You know they're getting hammered back home. I, yeah, I heard. I'm glad we're missing it. Are you going to be able to get out of here? Uh, we'll see. We're supposed to fly out Thursday, so we'll see how that goes. God forbid you be stranded in Montreal. It's kind of a nice place to be. <laughs> right, visit. right. Well, we've got to make it to the Super Bowl, though, so I don't know. I don't want to miss it. Who are you picking? Packers? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to pick, actually. Maybe I'm supposed to just vote for both teams. Is that part of it? You've got the crown on and everything, I guess. The crown off, would you pick the Packers? Um, yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> the, you're 17, yes. which boggles my mind. I've always thought of the... God forbid I use the term older, but Miss Americas, are they not usually older than 17? Well, they are, but the age division is 17 to 24, and so anyone who is within those parameters can win. And so, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, they're looking for something, and it, whatever age you are, if you fit that, uh, you win. And so um, it's pretty incredible to be able to represent that younger teenagers really can do some pretty incredible things. I mean, I'm honored to have these experiences this year. So the next question would be then, for the sake of sounding like a truant officer, why aren't you in school? <laughs> I graduated high school a year early. I was homeschooled, and so I, I did get to graduate a year early, which ended up working out perfectly. You know, the timing was perfect. Um, so I'll be taking the year off school, and then I'm headed to Virginia to go to college next year. You want to be a judge and then a politician? Did I read that right? Yes, I'd like to be a trial attorney um, and eventually become a judge. And I've always been interested in joining the political arena. So. Why? <laughs> you know, and that's the reaction that yeah. really makes me want to do it all the more. <laughs> because a lot of people are turned off to politics and government in general. I mean, especially in America, the way things are going now. Um, a lot of young people, especially my age, are not interested at all. And so I think it's really important we do step up and get the right people in those positions. Because when good people continue to step out of those positions and not want to be involved because they think it's corrupt, yeah. it's only going to get worse, you know, and so we have to make sure that people that have their heart in the right place are, are there, um, you know, making those big decisions in our country. That's refreshing to hear from somebody <laughs> 17. Oh. So obviously you vote. Well, you, you can't vote yet. I will be registering to vote very soon. Right. I, I actually turn 18 on Super Bowl Sunday, so it's coming up soon. Um, I can't wait to register to vote, and I think it'll be very fun. I was a lot of my friends last year who were old enough to vote wouldn't. You know, they're, oh, I don't care about that. And it just, I, I would give so much to be in that position. You know, I've always wished that I was older so I could do those things. But it's, it's soon enough. <laughs> Why are you here in Montreal? Joseph Rubkoff is our official wardrobe sponsor, and they're based here in Montreal. Um, they're completely Canadian-made, um, great company. Just been working with them the past couple of weeks. They actually supply all of the clothes that I wear this year. What you're wearing now? Yes, absolutely. And Beautiful. so all of my appearance wear is sponsored by them, and it works perfectly because we're traveling so much. All of their clothing is made to travel well. It doesn't wrinkle. You can pull it right out of your suitcase, and it's ready to go. So it's a lifesaver. It really is. That's extremely important to me as a, as a busy traveling person that we have that and so it's been wonderful to work with them really neat to see their headquarters here as well miss america dressed by a canadian that's okay yes oh absolutely i mean they're international as well um they have 1300 locations in the u.s as well and they're in many different countries and so you know they've got an international appeal just as we're trying to do with miss america you know it's internationally recognized and so it's great to have a company like them behind us you uh, you can see what she's wearing by the way at cjad.com we'll be <laughs> posting the video and uh, you've got a bracelet on as well. As yes. people look, they'll see that. What is that? Um, it says, accept yourself, accept others. It's the wristband I always wear. You know, you'll see it at any appearance I have. I always wear this. Um, it reminds me of the attitude I need to have towards a really exterior image and appearance. And I, I sell these and give them away, especially to high school students, because as I went to high school, I saw that that was something that was really an issue, is that pressure to look a certain way and to fit a certain mold. And so um, it's just changing our attitudes 
needs to be accepting of all shapes and sizes because everybody's different. You know, you can't have any two people who are exactly alike. So every body is made to be different. And so in pageantry this year, as an example of, of health and fitness, I want to be an example that you can reach this level of success without hurting yourself to try to look a certain way. That it's that it's more about your health and fitness inside and it's not about those numbers on the scale because they don't mean anything. That might, though, to someone who looks at pageants, uh feel like it doesn't match up. How long have you been doing pageants? I started when I was 13, and you know, that is that is a big part of pageantry misconceptions, I think, is that people do feel that you have to be, um, that you have to be hurting yourself to do well in them. And really, when I started competing at 13, um, I promised myself I was never going to hurt myself in order to be successful, because it's not worth it. It's really not. And a lot of young girls, unfortunately, think that they have to um, hurt themselves and go to extremes and develop an eating disorder to be successful in life to do well, for people to like them. And um, it's really important to change that attitude because it's growing across America, across the world, really. And um, society is becoming so image obsessed. And so I think it's it's really time we start to think about the way, how we see instead of just the way we look. And so um, that's what I'm trying to do this year is be an example of that and encourage others to do the same. You're a 17 year old in Montreal and you're traveling as Miss America and you're on your own, you're being watched and back <laughs> home you're being watched as yes. well. Everybody's okay as far as family goes with oh, all yeah. of this? Yeah, absolutely. I'm the middle child of seven, so my parents still have some other siblings to worry about as well. So there's still a couple little ones back home, um, but Nebraska is absolutely going crazy. My hometown is, is, is so excited. It's been really amazing to feel that support. I mean, everyone has been so encouraging. It's It's been really incredible, but we have a great team behind us. I've got a tour manager that goes everywhere with me so i'm well taken care of well it's been a pleasure sharing some time with you thank you thank for you that very time. very much thank a you pleasure.